हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर टुडे लेक्चर इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंजम्पन एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कंजम्पन एंड सेविंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड डिस्कस दैट व्हाट इज मीन बाय कंजम्पन बेसिकली कंजम्पन और द एक्सपेंडिचर व्हिच आर डन बाय हाउस होल्ड ऑन फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज डिफरेंट पीपल कंज्यूम दियर income on different goods some people consume more on traveling some people consume their income more on their basic necessities and so on everyone has his own priority that on which type of good he or she is going to consume more part of his income and our total consumption is depending on the disposable income disposable income mean the income which we have after paying taxes more the income more will be the consumption less the income less will be the consumption so there is a direct or positive relationship between consumption and income we can write this relationship in this form here c is representing consumption and fy is showing the function of income which mean that consumption is a function of income and consumption is a dependent variable while income is a independent variable first change occur in income then it will affect consumption so that's why we are saying that consumption is a dependent variable and income is a independent variable so now let's uh, discuss about the two major types of consumption first one is autonomous consumption and the second one is induced consumption autonomous consumption means that consumption which is not related with your income either you have income or no income you have to consume something and the induced consumption the income the consumption which is depending on your income more the income you will consume more and in case of autonomous consumption or sometimes you have no job but it does not mean your consumption is being stopped you must have to pay your rent you must have to pay your fees you must have uh, to pay the price for the basic necessities so uh, this type of consumption is not related with your income either you have income or no income you must have to consume something so that consumption is called autonomous consumption and while induced consumption is that consumption which is related with your income when your income increases your consumption increases so this function is doing showing the total consumption level c is total consumption c not is the autonomous consumption and this small c is showing induced consumption or mpc marginal propensity to consume it shows that how much change occur in consumption when there is a one unit change in income and yd is showing disposable income here this is positive sign shows that there is a positive relationship between induced consumption and income when income increases your consumption increases as you can see that there is no income with this autonomous consumption so it is not related with your income so now let's discuss uh, these on a graph as you can see that on x axis we have taken the disposable income di is showing disposable income and on y axis we have taken the consumption level this 45 degree line is showing your income level and this straight line is showing consumption level as you can see that income is starting from zero it is possible that your income may be zero and when your income increases in case with the passage of time so it is a positive slope line but consumption is not starting from zero and you have to remember this thing that consumption cannot be start from zero because of autonomous consumption so the part from this point to this point is autonomous consumption or c not which is not depending on the level of income 
either you have income or no income you must have to consume this autonomous consumption so that's why a consumption curve cannot be start from zero and why it is positive slope it is positive slope because when your income increases your consumption also increases so the area between uh, this break even point or before this break even point as you can see that you have this amount of consumption and your income level is this so your consumption is more than your income so this area is showing your day saving uh, we simply can say that your consumption is 50 or your income is 40 so the difference between 50 and 40 is your day saving uh, you are consuming but you are taking loan from someone else so that why we are seeing that this is the saving as your consumption is greater than your income and this area is break even the circle is showing break even point because at this point your consumption and income both are equal uh, you have no saving so consumption and uh, income both are equal so at this point consumption equals to saving uh, consumption equals to income so there is no saving saving equals to zero and the area after this point is showing saving why because now your income is greater than your consumption uh, your income is this and your consumption is this so all the difference between the consumption and the income is called saving and the slope of the consumption function is MPC which means that marginal prosperity to consume uh, MPC shows that how much change in consumption when there is a unit change in income